Hey folks, and welcome back to another episode of Fox River Bushcraft. I'm Jonathan Aguirre, and today we're heading to the creek. Here to see if we could stop the flow of water like a beaver. Stick around. All right, folks, check it out. Got a good pile of wood right here. Dragged it all over to the edge of the creek right here. We also got another pile of straight um, poles right here. Also dead wood that I uh, collected and cut to proportion that we're going to put points on and use them to drive into the ground as stakes. All right, guys, let's get started. Alright guys, we got our supporting poles, let's get these hammered in the ground. folks check it out this took a lot of work so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve poles hammered into the ground this took a long time each pole was about six feet tall and there's about two feet of the pole two and a half feet of the pole sunk into the bottom of the creek bed so that was a lot of hammering guys so we got our structure put up now we can grab the rest of the material that we're going to fill the inside with we're going to stack it all the way up till up here and then once we get all the uh, wood put in we have a bunch of dead grass and mud and everything we could use to fill in the front right here so it stops the flow of water let's see if we can make this happen guys
right, guys, I got some more material. Let's keep going. We got the structure fully up. Now we just need to plug it up with grass and mud and it should start filling with water. And the back of the dam over here, this should all start draining out. Once we plug it up over here, this should start getting dry back here. We can start to see the bottom and stuff. Oh guys, this is super cool. Look at this, so cool. <laughs> all right guys, we got a bunch of dead grass and material we can use to plug this up. Let's get started. folks let's check this out see the progress we made look how deep it's getting back here guys so what i've been doing for the past hours i've been pulling all the dead grass out of here with my potato rake and just layering it right here and when i'm moving around it's stirring up all the mud behind the dam right here so all that mud's flowing right into the grass so it's going to help plug everything up but uh i think we got a quite bit more work to do to get this plugged up completely because it's still flowing on the back end a bit so uh let's keep going guys Super cool to see how this is all coming together. Hoo wee folks, that is a lot of work. Check it out. So we got the dam right here in front of us. We're in front of the dam right now. And behind the dam is where we're uh, blocking everything up. Looks like most of the current's coming through right here in the middle. Looks pretty stagnant on that side over there and pretty stagnant on this side. Most of the water's getting through the middle right here. So we're gonna have to plug it up more in the middle right here. But well, here's all the grass we've been doing for the past two hours. Whew, I'm beat 80 degrees today too, guys. There's a lot of work trying to build the dam, seal everything up. The beavers probably do this for days and days. So what I'm thinking is uh, we'll stop the episode here. We'll come back tomorrow and see what happens. See if it plugged itself up naturally. Or uh, if we're going to have to continue to put material and mud and stuff like that to plug it up to see if we can stop the water flow. But I think this is good progress for right now. I'm really happy with this. We got the structure up. We got a bunch of grass in front and some mud to plug everything up. Now what we're going to do is let this run overnight, like I said, and just let nature take its course to plug this up the rest of the way. And then we'll come back in the morning and see if we can remove it 
either A, uh, we'll remove it if it's all plugged up and the water stopped, or B, we'll keep plugging it up until this is all dry back here, where you could just see mud and sand and everything. So I think that's the plan. My goal here, like I said, I just want to see if I could stop the flow of water like a beaver, because beavers would have this all dry right here. Maybe a little bit of water getting through cracks and stuff, but this would be basically dry right here. So I'm happy so far. Super cool, guys. All right, I'll be right back with you. All right, folks. So the part of the creek we're working in right now is about 15 to 20 feet wide. I know I could have picked a smaller part of the creek and probably had this done in one day, but typically beavers usually take about a day or two days to plug up their dam properly, and that's the goal here. So I'm in front of the dam right now where all the water's flowing through. And the goal is to get this all dry where you can see the sand and the mud and everything and have it pulled up behind here. I'm not going to leave this here after we accomplish our goal. We're going to rip it out and put everything to the side so the creek can flow properly. But I just wanted to do a little bit of experiment to see if myself can stop the flow of water like a beaver because they're professional uh, dam builders when it comes to creeks and stuff like that. They can plug up anything. So I just wanted to see if I could do the same. And we will be removing this after the experiment. That's so cool, guys. <laughs> but this is what they used to do in primitive tribes, too. If they wanted to dam something up, this is the kind of method they'd use right here. Super cool. <clears throat> but yeah. So most of the water is coming through the middle right there. So we'll have to come back tomorrow and see if it either A, plugged itself up, B, if we need to add more material to keep plugging it. And uh, yeah. Just let the natural flow of the creek plug this up as it brings down like debris and stuff like that. And we'll come back in the morning and check it out, guys. So I had a great time today. We did a lot of work. Got the structure up, grass in the front, mud, mud in the front. Yeah, that was like an hour of... Uh, almost two hours yeah almost two hours of collecting all this uh dead grass and just bringing it down to the creek and layering it in layers right there super cool all right guys i'm gonna get out of here i'll see you tomorrow for the update video well first i gotta film it and then it'll be uploaded the same day that's what that's how i always uh do my channel i'll film that day and then i'll edit and upload the same day if i have the uh, if i have enough time but yeah guys i'll see you in part two tomorrow Hope you enjoy the video. I know I had fun doing this. I hope you guys <laughs> hope you guys have fun watching it. Super cool though. Look at that primitive dam. Super cool. Alright guys. I'm gonna get out of here. Get back to the Jeep, get cleaned up. That being said, I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up so we can get into the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this video and enjoy it as you have. Till tomorrow, Johnny out.